We're live, bro. We live. What up? You Rockland. Yeah. Happy hump up? day. Woo -hoo. You All fit right. day number three. Let's go. Oh man. How are you feeling? Uh I feel better than I did yesterday. My legs feel a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Um a little better? Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot of better? Well, I haven't tested them out yet. So, okay. Um, we'll be working out after this, so I'll, I'll let you know. How are you feeling as far as moving around goes? Um, I mean, I feel great upstairs. It's my uh, quads. They're still tight. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the quads are definitely really tight. Yeah. For sure. Um, I don't know if squatting is harder or trying to put my legs inside like pants. That whole lifting them up and trying to... We're about, to we're about to find out <laughs> what's going to be worse, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I think uh, definitely, man. I'm like really sore. So, I don't know. It's crazy. I worked out last night. You know, feel okay in the workout once you get warmed up. But, man, I tell you <laughs> what. So, I would say, yeah, um, between burpees and the thrusters, um, definitely the thrusters uh, have been have taken a tougher toll, right? Wouldn't you say? The thrusters, I mean, did I say I, burpees? I mean, I forget, no, you said it right. Yeah. I forget, I mean, I remember initially after the burpees, I was pretty taxed. Yeah. And I didn't feel as taxed after the thrusters, but my legs were just toast. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I felt just really exhausted after the burpees, but man, I tell you what, like the pain, I don't remember being in this much pain last year. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Um, anyway, so, uh, hey guys, um, happy hump day to you. Um, and, uh, let's see here. We got, uh, January 19th, beautiful Ooh. weather we've been having guys. Um, let's see here, coach, uh, what, um, how are you doing with Hubit so far? Um, good. I mean, uh, as far as recording everything, I, I need to do that a little bit better, but I've, I've been putting better things in. Nice. Yeah. Hey, um, how do you have any extra coffee, bro? <laughs> I don't have any. Oh, man, bro. <laughs> man, look at this guy. Oh, man. <laughs> um, no, you're good. Uh, I can pull the lid off if you want to sit. <laughs> oh, man. You, pull the lid off. Pull the right. lid off, man. I'll tell you. No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you. Um, yeah. How are you feeling as far as like nutrition and that kind of, uh, how, uh, now, how was your diet and nutrition? Before Cupid started, like, had you fallen off the rails or my, what? My honest, yeah, answer. honest, bro. Yeah, we're like, we're human beings here, right? Um, it, I definitely went off the wagon, and uh, it's just that whole pro project minded uh, mode. Like, I've got a lot of things going on at home, I'm always behind, so it's like grab and go, and it's grabbing the wrong things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like whatever the kids don't finish, like, mm -hmm. just consuming whatever's there. And, and do you get into the thing of, like, not eating because you're also just so busy? Mm, no, it's more just, like, I'll, I'll just power things down. Mm -hmm. I, I always like to feed the machine. Mm -hmm. but. Um, okay. Well, and so, see, for me, like, I don't have the young kids anymore that are, you know, Kaya's there, but at the end of the day, like, we're, you know, everybody's kind of eating the same stuff. So, for me, it's one of those things where I uh, – I don't really have like a bunch of unhealthy stuff in the house, but um, also like I don't stop when I'm busy and work on work mode. I don't take the time to stop and eat. Yeah. It's just like powering, like I got work to do, stuff's got to get done. And then, but then like honestly too, like I was really off the rails as well. Like just kind of eating just not a bunch of sweets and garbage, but just like eating unhealthy food, right? Yeah. That just, you know, and um so yeah, man. So how how's it been now? You, you have you done your meal prep? Um, no, I need to do better meal prep. I mean, I'm cooking for like the day and then like eating leftovers, okay. but I could do better meal prep. Okay, yeah, because yeah. that's really gonna set you up for success. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, for me, like uh, you know, I ate, what we're three days in. I feel I feel really good actually, like eating good food. I know that it's been a little bit tough for me too. Like I got in the habit of just drinking my coffee on the way to work and not having my first meal. Mm -hmm. um, and then I wouldn't eat till like seven or maybe even 10 or even maybe this 10 o'clock break. Yeah. And so um, I, it was hard for me to get all my calories in that I need to get in. And so I've really been making a conscious effort this week, the third day of like wake up, driving in or Monday and today, 
when I came in to open is like eating my food on the way to the gym, right? Getting that first meal started. Yeah. Um, and I, I really feel better already. Um, so that's, it's a really good, it's really good feeling. Right on. Nice. How, uh, how is your, uh, you haven't done the challenge today yet, but oh man. Woo! <laughs> Guys, the best challenge for all you Hue Fitters, the best challenge of the uh, Hue Fit Challenge is here today. The Burpee <laughs> Rower Challenge, guys. Um, so let's talk about Hue Fit really quick. So guys, for all you guys doing Hue Fit, like congratulations. I hope that that kind of gave you a little insight, right? That we're human beings as well. We fell off the wagon, wagon. we're using this as a reset button, okay? Uh, but still, right, utilize, that. meal prep is gonna be your lifesaver, guys, right? Now, whatever scale of meal prep that you do, um, if you have a really horrendous week where you don't have a lot of spare time, then I would suggest trying to meal prep as much food as you can. Um, for, uh, you know, for Rich, like he opens some days and then closes some days. So maybe he can, you know, do a little bit less intensive meal prep, right? For us um, at the house, we, uh, we uh, meal prep all the food for the week um, and get it done, right? But... That's gonna be your lifesaver, guys. Set yourself up for success. Also, if you're doing HuFit, guys, make sure that you're not letting yourself get hungry. When you let yourself get really hungry, that's when the cravings will set in. Um, and once the cravings set in, it's really hard to fight off. You know? You have anything on that? Um, no, I guess I did meal prep because like I cooked a bunch of fish, a bunch of shrimp, yeah, a bunch yeah. of chicken one day. But like, do you like cook for the whole week? Because like, does do you feel like? I feel like I don't want like meat to last all week. Oh, see, he's one of those guys. See, all right, right so. I think I need to cook like half, like cook for three days. And yeah. Then cook for another three days. Well, this is the thing, right? Like some people, like me, don't care about like eating meat all week long, right? I don't really care about that. Um, it stays fresh for me, um, and you know, I don't. It doesn't. I don't mind it. Now, I don't cook fish. So fish might not stay as fresh, uh, you know, if you cook it on Sunday, it might not be good by Friday. I probably wouldn't do that with fish, you know? Uh, so I'm with you on that, yeah. But beef, chicken, uh, ground turkey, definitely, I like to just cook it all for the whole week. Cause I, at the end of the day, like I don't have to, I, I am going home tonight. I didn't grill on Sunday night. And then I was supposed to yesterday morning, but was too busy with work before I came in here. Um, and I didn't grill the chicken, so I'm gonna go home. I got work to do um, when I get home, but then also gonna grill the chicken for the rest of the week. Nice. Uh, but yeah, so, um, but some people are like, they're, you know, they don't, have, they have problems with that, like having the food be in the fridge all week. Yeah. But, so whatever it is, you gotta plan accordingly. Also, if you're huge bitters, make sure we get our gold stars, guys. And then remember, on the bingo challenge, guys, all right, it's one square per class. You highlight the square, tell your coach, hey, I did this, this, and this, and then they're gonna mark off your bingo, guys, all right? So that's kind of that, Hugh Fitters. All right, um, let's see here, another announcement, guys. If you haven't been in the gym, uh, Believe With Me campaign. We got the totals yesterday. I was on a corporate meeting yesterday, um, and $8,600 for Hugh Rockland, guys. So definitely, like, hey, great job right there. Um, awesome job for Believe With Me campaign, guys. Thank you so much for that. Um, and then another announcement for everybody out there, uh, the gym is not closed on Saturday, guys. Okay, that is, that's false advertisement. <laughs> the workout of the day has been relocated to Donner Ski Ranch, guys, all right? Uh, this, this guy right here is turning 40 on Sunday. So, you know what, I said, hey, I wanted to do this Hue event last year, and it was the day that never came because we talked about it, talked about it, talked about it, and never did it. So this year I'm like, hey, look it, we're gonna do a huge snow event. I hope it's a blast. I hope a ton of you guys come on out. Donner Ski Ranch is really local, it's fun, um, and it's a great beginner-friendly location to learn, guys, okay? Um, and you know what, I've never been on the backside of it. Um, you know, I like the backside, so uh, definitely I'm gonna go try it out this time. Start off with some uh, warm up line drills. Yeah, out there. Some, oh, some warm up line drills. Uh, line <laughs> up, guys. Let's go. Yeah, um, but I think it's going to be a ton of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. The weather should be perfect. So, uh, that guys, your workout of the day has been relocated, all right? And if it's a blast, then you know what? We're just going to uh, do it again, all right? So, um, I think it's going to be a really good time.
Do you figure out your logistics? You gonna be able to make it? Uh, I'll probably be there, but I'm trying to figure out if I'm bringing my kids or not. Yeah, all right. I might have to bring them on. I think they might do better on a weekday when it's not so crowded. Okay, so okay, it cool. It might just be me and maybe, uh, maybe Jack. All right, this, all right, cool. Soon. Yeah, hey, that'd be a good little father-son day. Yeah, cool. Good for you. Yeah. Right, make it happen, bro. Make let's it happen. Let's hope to see you guys out there. Yeah, guys, let's go. All right, Um, else, what else, what else? So today, I really kind of wanted to come on and talk about like, What's your why, right? Um, um, I, I spoke yesterday to some of our other gym owners and, um, it, and it kind of like was, what's your why? Um, and so, um, you know, remember guys, the landlord's knocking, right? The success is rented, it's never owned and, it's, and the rent's due every day. No matter what it is we're talking about, right? Success is in everything, success in fitness, Success is in, uh, in your job. Success is in every part of your life. Um, and so the rent's due every day, guys. But you have to remember what's your why? What's your motivating factor? So if we just talk about the gym here, right? Because that's our venue that we're using. What brought you into the gym? What was your reason that you initially came in the gym and you said, hey, what, what do I want, right? Maybe, maybe for you, it was you've had, a life, you've had a fitness lifestyle your entire life. You've been working out for years. You love, you love working out. It's just something that you do, right? Maybe for you, uh, you were in a bad mental state. And you're like, man, I got to get the exercise and somebody recommended it to you. Maybe for you, it was like a weight loss journey. And you're like, man, I got to get healthy. Maybe for you, you did have a scare, right? Maybe one of your friends passed away from a heart attack. Or, you know, you saw him wither away from diabetes or whatever it is, right? And at the end of the day, you drew the line in the sand, you came in the gym, and that was your why, right? So, you have anything on that? Or are you just kind of taking it in? What do you uh, got? You want me to answer Yeah, it? no, no, no. I mean, like, no, not, not necessarily what was your why. Do you have anything, to, any feedback for them? Uh, the importance of why, like, um, I, I think that really drives the engine. Um, yeah. I think you need to have a why. Um, and you need to be doing it for yourself, not for other people. Yeah. Oh yeah. They, yeah. yeah. Um, well, any, anything in life, you know, like you can do so much for other people, but like at the end of the day, what's going to sustain you is doing things for yourself. Right. You know, and you got to do it here and then the motivating factors for everything else too. Right. Yeah. Um, Sarav said that he just comes for the coaches. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Hey, if that's your why, bro, it's all good. Let's go. That's good right. why. Yeah, that's a good why, huh? Uh, for Coach Rich, he comes for Coach Rich. Uh, but yeah, so um, so what's your why, guys? Because what you have to do is you have to look back to your why to keep yourself motivated, right? To keep yourself determined. Because at the end of the day, we've talked about it, the term, determination is going to ebb and flow, right? And so if you don't stay focused on your why, you're going to lose that. And so um, I, I think that there's, uh, as time goes on, we lose our why because we just have been doing something for so long and you forget your focus and you forget your why, yep. you know? Um, and then, so like, as far as coaching, like, why, what's your why when you, when you came here for a job, what was your why? Specifically here or yeah. just coaching in general? Well, maybe just coaching in general. Cause I know you didn't really know what we did whenever you came here. Um, I think we kind of tapped on this a little bit in a different podcast, but like I've always received so much from what I'm doing and, uh, just, uh, uh, wanting to give back to other people. Um, I feel like if we all have a craft or something, um, it's kind of like, the, I feel like I've always been honing that craft for a long time. I mean, I'm not elite, I'm not like a professional athlete or anything, but I've never ne needed that. Like I've got always gotten so much out of it that I just want other people to be able to find that. To me, it's a light. Nice, you know, okay. Like I want to be able, other yeah. people to be able to see that light too. Yeah. So, okay, so then that was initially what got you into coaching. Has your why changed since you've been here, Hugh? Have, have, like, have you found deeper meaning in coaching? And what's your why now? Why do you, why do you continue to want to coach? Um, no, it hasn't changed, but I definitely, like, I think you said that sometimes that why fades. Mm -hmm. So, like, initially, like, I remember being so excited, like, 
when you asked me to come on board, I was mm -hmm. like, yes, like I, like I did it. The doors open yeah. and I really like this gym and like it seemed like everybody's so positive. I love the coaches, the members. So like, I remember like every day, like I think it didn't matter that I was waking up at 3.30 in the morning. I was like, I get to go to work today. Mm -hmm. Like this, like, and I wouldn't say that that's changed, but like things fade a little bit. Like then like, okay, it's a job too right mm -hmm. like okay i've been doing it longer it's a job but then i like so just have to remind myself of why i'm doing it okay you know what i mean okay. like i think yeah. anything gets a little bit dry after a while becomes repetitive but then like in my mind i'm like that's the challenge like if i'm feeling that way then i have to reinvent myself i have to figure out a way to bring like something good, new good coaching good energy, energy. yeah like to me, like in my mind, I'm like, that's just like when you're working out, that's that obstacle where you're like, I feel like I can't do anymore. Well, I and think, that's where I need to do more. Yeah. You know, so like, uh, yeah. I, th I think right now what you've just said actually can touch a lot of people out there, right? Because I think there's a lot of people that, uh, you know, especially members that have been here for a year, two years or three years, I mean, right? doing this for a long time yeah you've been here for a long time and people like you know what i've had somebody who a member that quit that said I i'm bored right um and you know <laughs> people that people that get like in that mindset right so then it's like you having to change that and remind yourself well why am i doing this right and at the end of the day guys like if that's your why right and if you're in that instance where you're bored or where you need to reinvent things well um, have you mastered everything, right? Because until you've mastered everything, you can't really tell me that you're bored, right? Because, um, it, you know, that's where you need to change things up and get better and get out of that comfort zone to reinvent it, right? Same thing with coaching, right? There's gymnastics clinics that you can go to. There's weightlifting uh, courses that you could take and become a better, be a better master of our craft. So even here in the gym, unless you're like mastering everything, I would say, how are you bored, right? And so maybe that's where you guys have to as well is come back to that reset and be like, okay, what's my why? Why did I come here? What am I looking for? And how can I spice this up a little bit more, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that because remember the motivation is gonna ebb and flow. The, the determination is gonna stick with you. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, actually coach, I'm really glad that you touched on that because that was, um, that's really good. And I think that you could relate to a lot of people. Well, and I think you tapped on something good when I think it was last time or two times ago, you said how you uh, showed up to a workout and it wasn't really about the working out. You were like having generally a good time. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to remind ourselves of that too. Like I think that that's the dichotomy too, right? Like. You should focus on yourself. You yeah. should have goals. You should be like grinding. You should be yeah. pushing. But it's not all about that, right? Yeah. You said it, it's not about that. It's yeah. if you look around, there's so many good people around you here yeah. in the gym. And it's like step outside yourself. It's not about you. Mm -hmm. It's about their journey too. Yeah. So like what can you be for somebody else in the gym? Well, that's where that quote's been on the board now for a while. You never know who needs you. Good energy is contagious. But let's take yesterday's workout, for example, right? Um, yesterday's workout was kind of that um, active recovery, right? Agility style day where we had a lot of different stations. You know, it was three rounds, 20 minutes. And at the end of the day, like, that's a great workout yesterday to have a ton of fun, For sure. to encourage each other. Yeah. You're passing around, you're going everywhere. And it, you know, out when you're out on that farmer's carry, it's a great time to sit there and be jibber jabbering back and forth, right? And have fun, cut it up and have fun. Now today's workout, that part one, we're doing a strength build. Like it's gonna be a little bit more focused because you're working with a barbell, you're trying to go heavier, trying to improve and get to a spot where you wanna be. Yeah. But yesterday's workout is a great day to have fun in the gym. Yeah. Get outside of you, say hi to people, give high fives, give those fist bumps, and really like just just cut it up and loosen up a little bit, right? Because that's a challenge in itself for some people. Yeah, for some people, Get outside yeah. of that comfort yep. zone and do something like. Well, yeah, well even yesterday, character. like on our line drills, right? Guys, line drills are a great warm up to have a ton of fun in, right? Sound effects cutting up, laughing, joking. It's a great time. We're outside. It's like we say what we have to say and then you guys are on your way. And so yesterday, one of the afternoon classes was like, man, it's, it's quiet out here. Be that, you know, it's fun, guys. Have fun with it, right? Even for us coaches, our number one thing is we got to have fun coaching. Mm -hmm. 
if you're not having fun coaching, then you probably have to revisit your why. Because yeah. number one, we gotta have fun in here. The music's gotta be fun, we have fun with it, right? We're, hey, give us this, give us that, you know? Um, and so at the end of the day, guys, that's really gotta be, you, utilize that, Use, utilize yesterday's workout as rather than looking at me like, uh, this is gonna be that. Hey, have fun with it, right? And I didn't even make it through three rounds. Guess what? I had a ton of fun. Yeah. Right? It was all good. Oh my God. Weighted box step ups. This guy gave me weighted box step ups. Oh, you didn't do weighted. I didn't tell you yeah, to do weighted. Man, I wanted to use the bike yeah. for the step ups. I said do box he step said ups. step ups. I'm like, oh. oh and then I chose the weight and I was like, oh. And then guys, oh man, that hurt. But um, so that's kind of, that's remember your why, guys. Whatever it is in life, too, right? For you guys, remember your why, maybe of why you uh, have the job you do or why you chose to go down a route that you did, whatever it is. If you're training for something, what's your why, right? Remember that. Um, and so, uh, you know, um, guys, something that I, I heard on a podcast, too, and I don't remember, I, I think I touched on it last week where I said that, like, as coaches and and gym owners um you know your job is to talk people out of their self-destruction mm -hmm. right i think i touched on that last week didn't i i don't remember maybe you did but i don't remember yeah. phrasing it like that mm -hmm. but I, I like the way that sounds but guys we are all of our own worst enemies our mind is our own worst enemy right and so we all can dig ourselves into a hole. We, I mean, gosh, guys, I'm telling you right now, my food has been so bad that it has affected the way that I feel. It's affected my mindset. It's affected all the different things, guys. Thank goodness I'm not drinking alcohol right now because that would really make it worse, okay? Yeah. But at the end of the day, like, our mind is our own worst enemy. And so, like, our job is to help to talk you guys out of your self-destruction, right? That what it mean, that's what it means to be a coach. And so remember, utilize your resources. We're your resources. And when we're challenging you, if you uh, are going through some problems and we're challenging you with a question or like trying to, trying to pull information from you, guys, that's we're just doing our job because we care about you. And, and that's what it really means to be a good coach yeah. is to talk you out of quitting on yourself or talk you out of self-destructing yourself or whatever it is. Right, and then that's where when one coach buddy checks with another coach, that's our job too, right? Is to help talk us out of that self-destruction. Yeah. Um, you know, and Greta commented, I never leave unhappy, sore, but always happy. It's the most fun hour of my day. That's what I'm talking about right there. That you know what, and that's- a moment to reflect. Yeah, that's, and that reminds me, like I forget about some things that I say, but like that reminds me of what I commented yesterday at, um, on our on this webinar that I was on where I was speaking, right? I say I told our, our other owners and our coaches that were on there like, guys, you want to create an atmosphere where people want to come in here. It needs to be one of the most positive parts of your day, right? Um, when I coached uh, the kids and little kids um, in little league and softball, and football, and stuff like that when I was younger and when the kids were younger. I looked at it as I don't know how these, what these kids' life is like, what their day has been like, but this, this time of practice or the games that I have them might be the most positive part of their day. And that really motivated me to always try to bring the best uh, that I could for them each and every day because I wanted that to be the most positive part of their day. Was it that? I don't know, yeah. right? But if I looked at it like that, it motivated me to always bring my A game. And so that's one thing that I, I haven't touched on in a long time with our coaches, but that's one thing that I wanted is for this atmosphere in the gym to be one of your most positive parts of your day. If you have a job that you don't really enjoy and you go to it and you come here, I want you guys to look forward to coming here. I want you guys to be like, oh, let's go. We're going to go to the gym. It's going to be fun. I love the people in the gym. I love seeing my friends. The coaches are going to be fun and you're going to leave out of here feeling good about yourself. Yeah. And that's motivated me to always bring that best, best, that, uh, man, that just my A game every day. And remember, my A game is going to change. One day I'm going to have 90% and I'm going to give 100% of that 90% I have, right? And then one day I'm going to have the 70%. And I'm gonna bring 100% of that 70% I have. And then Rich, he can't be a 70 also. He's gotta step it up being 90 today, right? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And when Rich is a 70, I gotta step it up being 90. 
And that's, that's what being a teammate's all about. But guys, that's the, that's the outlook that we want, is we want this to be one of your most positive parts of your day. And so, um, you know, but speaking of that, I know how sometimes when people have a bad day and they come in the gym and, you know, they, uh, you know, they come in, uh, I don't want to offend anybody, but at the end of the day, if you come in here with poopy pants, right, you can bring down the coach's atmosphere. Remember, we feed off of your energy as well, right? And so you can bring down the coaches and you can, you can actually like, you know, kind of affect an entire class. And it's one, it only takes one person, guys. So remember that when you're coming in here, no matter what your day has been, and this is one thing that we tell our coaches um, during our staff meetings, it's like, hey, no matter what kind of day you're having, no matter what's going on outside of here, when you come in the gym, you got to turn the page and you got to leave all that outside. And it's like here and now, right? Yep. So, I mean, you know those times where people have come in the gym and... Uh, yeah, but um, part of it, it's like... Um me not having enough confidence being a newer coach too but the longer that I'm doing it I found that it's like I re I just I try to like realize that hey I don't know what's going on yeah. with, with them right now it's not me yeah it's so like yeah but it can still it can, yeah you can, you can affect it can people. affect the class yeah. right but for me that's where too like I when I see that I'm gonna try to love on somebody right yeah and so at the end of the day like guys if you are in class and you see that somebody might be down right that's your job as a teammate, right? That's your teammate in your class. Like go and, and love on them, right? Go over to your go over to your teammate. And you know, if you see that they're down and be like, hey, I'm glad to see you today. You don't have to, you don't have to like uh oh, come on, it's okay. <laughs> you don't have to go over to your um, to them and get personal with them. You know what? Just telling somebody it's good to see you today yeah. just goes a long way. Man, I'm glad you're here. Whatever it is, right? Uplift everybody, right? That's what we want to do. Right, lift up the downtrodden, man. That's our job. Let's go. So, yeah. Um, so, anyways, um, that's it, man. I, I just really wanted to touch on. You have some stuff. I don't know if it's a good analogy, but I heard one time too. Like you know, back in the payphone days, we don't have those now. Yeah. But if you treat people like a payphone, mm -hmm. like sometimes you go up to a payphone and it doesn't work. Uh huh. Well, you still need to make a phone call, so you go to the next payphone, uh -huh. right? Like you just. Sometimes we're out of service for the day, like, oh, yeah. got, but it doesn't mean you should stop. Yeah. Caring and caring. loving and yeah. trying. Yeah. Nice. Good. Good. I like it. Remember guys, you never know what somebody's going through, man. So that's, yeah. uh, and that's what being a teammate's all about is just caring, caring for people, but you know, loosen up and have fun. Um, what, you know, I heard, um, I, I read this, I got a new book. I started, um, Ali actually bought it for the gym. And we were talking the other night. Thank you, Allie, for that. And we were talking the other night and uh, while I was cleaning up. And, um, man, I grabbed the book, so I'm reading it. The opening, right, and it's, it's called Start With Why, mm -hmm. right? And that's where, like, this really, this, I've all, I always say, what's your why? That's a big thing for me. It's been a big thing for me. But even I have these notes, and I took this before I read the book and even knew about it, but my opening thing was success is never owned, it's rented, and the rent's due every day. Second was what's your why, but here's what, before the book even starts, it says this statement. There are leaders, and there are those who lead. Leaders hold a position of power and, or influence. Mm. Those who lead inspire us, right? And I was like, man, yeah. like, that's big. Yeah. And so for you guys, remember, guys, there's leaders... Um, at work, at your job, of your household, right? You're the leader of your household. Um, but like, try and lead. Don't be the leader. Lead by example and lead to inspire people, right? Um, and I thought that that was big. And I and it really, and even that was after talking about, you know, Martin Luther King on Martin Luther King Day, kind of right? And, yeah, and it all came together. <laughs> and it was like, man, holy smokes. Like we were talking about leading by example with Dr. Martin Luther King. And then it was like all this, right? So remember that. I really um, am so excited to read this book. It's going to be a really a good one. Um, Sounds like it. I'd like to read it. Yeah. All right. So, hey, last night we had a request uh, to uh, maybe do recipes on this UCAS sometimes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Even one of the members, I'm um, not going to mention any names, Maricela, um, she uh, even offered to open up her kitchen. So we might have to get some, oh, get some hats and some aprons fun. and go over there and whip some stuff up. You know what yeah. I mean? But um, so guys, so uh, last night, this was brought to my attention. I believe it was in the 630 class. Okay. So to make it easy, 
But this is what I always talk about, right? I always talk about, um, hey, Rich, will you go grab the, the, the cappuccino protein that's in the yeah. room? Uh, Mine. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, those thrusters, guys. <laughs> Oof. Okay. So what I did is I brought something to make because I've been talking about it for a while. And um, all we do is talk about it. So I actually have brought... Oh, we well got that almond milk too, please. Yes. Yep. All right, guys. So I'm gonna share my favorite oatmeal recipe with you that I've been making, guys. All right. So um, this oatmeal recipe, um, it's just I I have the old fashioned oats, so they take a little bit more, longer to absorb. Um, thank you, Rich. Yes. So I got old fashioned oats, I got one cup for me, right? Um, and then I have some just pure ground cinnamon. I got some sugar-free French vanilla creamer. We've got our almond milk right here. And this is the one and only cappuccino protein, okay? So what I do is I let these soak overnight because like I said, it takes a little bit longer to absorb. I don't measure out my almond milk. I go to the consistency that I like. And I've been doing it kind of for so long that I just can eyeball it, right? And then in the morning, I might have to add a little bit more, but, um, so we got almond milk. Now, I'm gonna take my sugar-free French vanilla creamer, and I'm just gonna put a, a splash into that as well, right? You can measure it if you want, but I just kind of go by eyeball right there, mix it all up, right? Boom. And of course, guys, um, I'm not really that crazy of an eater. Like, I, I don't, I'm not picky. Right, so if you wanna stir this thing all up, do whatever you wanna do, that's fine. And then, uh, for me, I'm just kinda like, let's go, I gotta feed the machine. All right, and then my ground cinnamon, bam! Oh, I should've put it here, just bam! <laughs> Was that ammo? Pow, pow, <laughs> let's go. All right, so um, that's uh, my ground cinnamon in here, right? And then I let this thing soak overnight, mix it all up. But then, uh, for me, I will, um, and I'm not gonna put it in here now, cause this is gonna actually go for tomorrow, but um, I take a scoop of the cappuccino protein, guys, and throw it in there. And then first I'll microwave this, though, and warm it up, okay? So we're heating this up. And then after it's warm, then I take my scoop of protein and put it in there and mix it all up, all right? Do you do that because you don't want to denature the protein? Um, you know what? I don't know. I just always have, like, um, microwaved it first or heated it up first, right? If I'm at home in the morning, I'll boil the oats. Um, yeah. And so, but, uh, guys... Smell that. Oh yeah, it smells yeah. good. So at it's the end of the cinnamon. day, I think that it tastes like a cinnamon roll, okay? <laughs> now, if you are not a big sweet fan or if it's gonna be too sweet for you, maybe leave out the cinnamon and just try the cappuccino, okay? And then what you could also do is maybe a little bit less sugar-free French vanilla creamer. But for me, um, it, is, it is sweet, but at the end of the day, like it tastes like cinnamon roll. It's a great breakfast. Um, and also sometimes I will have this after uh, post-workout. So if I um, have worked out in the morning and, um, and I haven't had any carbs yet or I didn't have this before my workout, I can actually eat this right after my workout. I'm getting carbs into my diet and I'm getting my protein powder fixed, okay? I'm getting that scoop of protein like we'd have in a protein shake. Put a little slice of grass-fed butter on top there. Yeah, hey, you know what? All right, yesterday morning, I was working at home in the morning, right? And came in the afternoon, I put butter in it because nice. I needed some fat, right? I felt like the day before, I didn't get all my calories, so I threw some butter in there for some fat, right? You could also throw like peanut butter in there. It might change the flavor of everything, but the butter definitely, so I did do that yesterday. Nice. So um, anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of the recipe I wanted to share with you guys today. I've been talking about it forever, about sharing this with you. Or actually, I've been telling you guys I have the really good oatmeal recipe, and nobody come, nobody's come and asked me for it. You said you soaked that overnight? Yes. Yeah. And because it'll it soften up. up. Yes, because it'll soften up the oats. Okay. Yeah. If I was to go and microwave this right now, the, it'd be too runny because the oats aren't going to absorb the, the liquid. If you have quick oats then you're more than welcome to do that, right? Um, to do it instantly because they'll absorb like that. Nice. Um, yeah, so I'll let this soak overnight. Tomorrow morning, I, have, I might have to add a little bit more um, almond milk or French vanilla creamer. But guys, so that's one cup of oats. So I'm getting my carbs. And then I got my scoop of protein, 25 grams of protein. Plus, I believe there's like four grams of protein and some oats. But uh, your oatmeal, guys, it's 100. There's one ingredient in this. 
it's r rolled oats, rolled oats, right? So, um, yeah. So Thanks. whenever you're thinking of healthy breakfast, remember healthy foods, the less amount of ingredients on the list, the better it is for you. Okay. So the protein, I think cappuccino has like seven ingredients. The vanilla has five, the unflavored guys got new unflavored protein in that's got three ingredients. I'm actually going to break open a bag and start sampling it out for you guys. Um, I got the unflavor because I was thinking how we throw them in the food, right? Oh, okay. If you don't want the context of your food yeah. changed um, and the flavor of it, then boom. Boom. Plain, yeah. Plain protein. Yeah. So overnight in the fridge, Greta. So Greta, that's a great question. Um, yes, you can do overnight in the fridge. Or if you're like me, um, like I'll sometimes put it in the fridge, sometimes I won't. And also, so that you guys know, like for me, I pack my lunchbox the night before when I have to come and open in the gym. So then uh, I'll just put it in my lunchbox. But yeah, go in the fridge with it. Um, and then what do we got? We got carrot. Do you make a big batch or do you partition these out? No, but I partition them out so that I make sure that I'm getting oh. one cup of oats yeah. and, I'm getting, uh, and then I'm getting a scoop of protein. So no, I do not make a big batch and so then just mix it up. And doesn't yeah. uh, cinnamon help reduce inflammation too? Yeah, yeah buddy, I'm feeling better yeah. already. Uh, yeah, um, honestly, I think it's a really healthy meal and it tastes good. So that's where when some of you guys have like a sweet tooth, it's like, man, take care of that sweet, it tastes like a cinnamon roll, guys, right? So we, I think we have some sample packs of, of cappuccino. If not, the bags are here, we got plenty of them. I ordered like three cases because it is my favorite. So uh, I wanna make sure we got it on stack. I smell cinnamon rolls. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Guess what? You don't even have to go to cinnamon. Nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. We had a comment right here. Same here. My why for joining the gym has turned into so much more than getting back in shape. I didn't even think about it, but when I walk in, all the negativity I may have is gone. That's Kara. Nice. Huge. That's what I'm talking about. It's huge right there. Yeah. It's huge. Like, I mean, that's the, that's what I'm talking about that. And that's where guys, okay. Man, I'm about to get fired up, guys. Woo! Look out, about to get fired Let's up. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so, um, when I, I talked yesterday, and it just reminded me, it just triggered it, um, my why, right? When I first decided to open up a gym, I, I know exactly where I was, I know exactly what I was doing, and but my why, my why was like, well, I'm opening up a gym. I've always been into fitness, I love working out hard, I love this stuff, and I was like, I wanna help, you know, help people get healthy. Yeah. That was my why. And my why has changed 110% since then, right? Since becoming, you know, being open now for over three years, now uh, being groomed as a coach myself because I've never coached classes before I opened the gym. I've never been a coach before. I've never been in the atmosphere. I've actually never even been a member of a group fitness gym. I joined a CrossFit gym for one month and I had such a horrible experience at this gym that I quit and never went back. And it ruined actually the group atmosphere or even CrossFit for me as a whole for a long, long time because I was so ignorant and I thought and I labeled CrossFit from this one experience, right? So that was my ignorance right there. Um, but at the end of the day, um, the, uh, my why now is not even about fitness. Right, this is the platform that we use to make the impacts, right? But fitness is going to, through fitness, we are gonna change our mind, we're gonna change our body, and we're gonna change our, the way that we look at things, right? And so that's what fitness is for me, and that's my why, is actually changing lives. Where before, I don't think it was so profound, right? Through the mental and the physical and the emotional state of like learning how to be more positive, learning how to have more confidence and really learning how to believe in yourself. That's why I created BKB because believing in yourself is the number one rule. And I've said that for a long time now, Yeah, you know? Yeah. And so my why has changed guys. And that's why like when I come here, it's like, man, like I just need this gym to be fun. I need it to be uplifting. I need it to be powerful, right? Where we want everybody to want to be here. That's what I said about the goal about He Rock is I want everybody to want to be here. So remember your why, guys, and remember that you never know what other people are going through, right? Try to be positive, right? You don't know what struggles people have. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what's going on behind closed doors. You don't know if they lost a family member, all those different things, right? Yeah. You don't know what their kids are going through. So be a good teammate. Always lift up the downtrodden, guys. If you see somebody and they're standing off to the side, go introduce yourself. Make a new friend. 
right? Tell somebody, hey, I'm glad you're here today. And uh, when you tell people to be positive too, like it's not, it's easier said than done, right? Like, oh yeah. Um, positive people aren't made because they're just positive. Positive people went through hard times, mm -hmm. right? So like, well, and, and I think positive people have had to really focus on being positive. Man, you know what? I'm gonna call myself out, Rich. I'm not the most positive person all the time. Yeah. I dig myself into a hole. Guys, I deal with mental struggles just like everybody else. I deal with frustration. I get into a bad mood. I've, I've, for a lot of my life, I've dealt with frustration with anger, right? Man, I felt like I dealt with it with anger, either fighting or whatever it is, right? I'm talking like, I, I, man, I've been in more fights than I know to do it, and it's not healthy, but at the end of the day, I've, I've tried to learn, and I'm still growing, and man, I'm being like 100% brutally honest right now, yeah. right? I'm, I'm, getting out, I'm just laying it out to you, right? I'm making myself vulnerable that at the end of the day, I'm trying to learn to be a more positive person still. Even when I opened the gym, I wasn't the most positive person, and I wasn't the most like over opening to where I'd go and speak with you, right? I didn't know Rich, and I would just be like, mm, whatever, you know, or whatever the whatever it may be. So yes, we're not saying that like Nick has always been a most po most positive person. Yeah, I'm I'm changing myself, and that's why my why has changed through this gym is because I do want to be more positive. I don't want to freaking waste the day being mad or angry, upset or frustrated. When at the end of the day, stuff's gonna happen. You're gonna go through ish. Not ish that's on here, but ish, you know what I mean? And so, you know, at the end of the day, yes, we, we, um, we're we human. But go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I mean, you, you, that's great input and thanks for sharing your personal stuff like yeah. that. I think that helps people relate yeah. when they realize like we all go through stuff, but yeah. yeah. Um, and even though like, like things might be good in the gym and you might be feeling real positive, it doesn't mean like whenever I start to feel bulletproof, mm -hmm. like that's when like, mm -hmm. that's when you really get tested, right? Yeah. Like maybe get an injury mm -hmm. or like something yeah. outside life, like your life changes outside and now you got to figure out, oh, how am I going to get to the gym Man. or like anything, you know? Yeah. So like just realize that, you know, you're going to have obstacles and um, that's just your test, right? Like you got to turn that positive switch on. And then, Don't turn the molehill into a mountain. Yeah. You know, but honestly, Rich, like, man, <clears throat> I feel myself getting a little emotional right now because uh, at the end of the day, like there was probably about three months ago now, like I was feeling really good for a long time. And I was, man, just, everything was going smooth. Yeah. And just like, man, I was crushing workouts. I was feeling good. My nutrition was on point. I was shredded. Like, let's go, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, just things were going really, really well. And, and I just, I told, I told a good friend of mine, I was like, dude, I know, I know something's gonna happen. Yeah. I know it's all gonna come crashing, right? And so, at the end of the day, like that's the way it is. Well, you know when things are going good, you better anticipate that something's gonna come in and just give you that wrecking ball, guys, and it's gonna freaking throw you for a little loop. But at the end of the day, use your resources, right? You gotta, you gotta rely on people that are good for you. You gotta rely on people that are trustworthy. You gotta rely on those people that you're close to and just, allow them to help build you up too, right? But that's that's my ego gets in the way, guys, right? Man, I'm being 100% honest right now. Like I'm not, when I speak on this stuff, a lot of times it's because it comes from me right here and I'm speaking out to you, right? Easy to talk about. Yeah, I've been here, I've, I've been there, I've done that, right? Or whatever we're doing and I'm actually trying to practice what I'm telling you guys, right? And so at the end of the day, like, uh, my ego gets in the way though, and I just want to be mad and I want to be angry and I don't want to listen to people that are trying to lift me up and stuff like that, right? And so, uh, man, use your resources, guys. But, so we're not saying don't have bad days. Yeah. Have that bad day, but try to cut it off as quickly as you can, right? And, um, and so, yeah, definitely, I know that's really, really, really one thing that I definitely, I did really good at. And then I knew that something was coming and it threw me for a loop, guys. And then I know at the end, I know I got thrown for a loop. Then what happened? My nutrition fell off, right? And guess what? I've had more inflammation in my feet, probably helpfully joined from my nutrition, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I, put, I put inches on my waist. I'm not gonna tell you how many, some of you might know. <laughs> but guys, I put inches on my waist. But then the food that I've been eating has messed with my mind and it, and it messes with my emotions and it makes me feel horrible even though it tastes good at the time. Yeah. 
But man, it affects you so much, guys. So at the end of the day, it's hitting that reset button. Boom. And that's what I'm using Hue Fit for is that reset. Re-energize yeah. that. Why? Yeah. And it feels really good, right? Because I need that mental state to come back. Me too. So, um, man, that just got real, real quick, bro. <laughs> Jesus. What the heck? <laughs> Guys, but that's BKB, BKB real, real talk. talk, right, man? That's real talk right there. We said it at the same time. Oh, man, yeah. It's, it's BKB real talk, guys. Like, it, I'm just being real with you. And guess what? All of us, we're all humans, guys. Every single one of us, every guy, every one of you on here, right? Um, let us help you guys, all right? Use your resources. We're here for your mental health. We're here for your physical health. Let us help you if you need progressions, guys, right? Hey, remember, if you love what we do here at the gym, if you love this HueCast stuff, uh, well, guys, hit the subscription button on YouTube, okay? BKB Real Talk, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to it, help us out, let's go, bam! And then, um, guys, spread the word, pay the fee, it's free, right? Get more people in the gym, bring your friends, bring your family, don't let them live with excuse either, just tell them, come try it out, you can do it, right? Share these you cast with people guys to all right tag people on Instagram send this message to people send the video But guys, here's your yeah. recipe go back and watch it Um, and you got the cappuccino protein. We got it all here for you guys And then um, we'll see you next week guys. All right. Hey Don't forget to Saturday the gym's not closed your workout of the day change locations Donner Ski Ranch. I really hope that everybody's going to come out there, have a good time. Yeah, guys, your coaches are going to be there. Um, and really, come celebrate my birthday with me, guys. I love you all. I really do love each and every person that comes through the gym, man. And this has really definitely uh, changed my life as well, right? That's what you might not realize as well. The gym changed my life. So, we out, guys. All right? Have a great day. And we love you. We'll see you later today. Or uh, see you tomorrow if you've already come in. See you, humans. Woo!